football frenzy on the streets of Gaza. Decorations and flags representing all of the World Cup football teams are hanging in cafes throughout the besieged Gaza Strip. But Palestinians' joy and excitement will have to stay here. While people of many countries are traveling to Qatar to watch the World Cup, most people in Gaza cannot. Israel's siege of the occupied territory, its restriction on the movement of its people and the dire economy make it nearly impossible. People in other parts of the world would gather in their homes to watch the game, but most Gazans don't have that luxury. While watching the tournament at home is common around the world, here in Gaza, it's become a luxury. Power outages mean most people only have electricity for about six to eight hours a day. Most football fans have to find cafes with generators to watch the matches for free. And there is also a huge outdoor screen provided by Qatar for people to follow the tournament, known by some as the Mondial. Our aim is to allow the resident of the besieged Gaza to live the atmosphere of the tournament as if he's in one of Qatar's stadiums. Many of those who can't travel can't even watch the matches in cafes because of their financial conditions. Although the tough economic conditions mean few have money in Gaza, people are doing all they can to enjoy the event. We've made some preparations here. We've hired more staff and installed new screens and internet service. We expect to receive a lot of fans because people can't afford to pay the be in sports subscription to watch the matches, and most don't have generators to overcome power cuts. Despite all challenges, one thing is certain in Gaza. The love of the gay triumphs all. You may see it, Al Jazeera, Gaza.